It's just great to have you there where you belong. These are the stakes to make a world in which all of God's children can live or to go into the dark. We must either love each other or we must die. But what I do know is that for the last 25 years, I have lived as a black person in this country. I am delighted at the chance to speak at this important and this historic institution. Howard has long been an outstanding center for the education of Negro Americans. I have lived as a mother raising black children. Our earth is the home of revolution. So I do know what it means to be black in America. Our enemies may occasionally seize the day of change, but it is the banner of our revolution they take. Wow, wow, fellas, look at that guy go now, fellas. The whole town world agrees that he's the one. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Nothing in any country touches us more profoundly and nothing is more freighted with meaning for our own destiny than the revolution of the Negro American. A Minneapolis business owner is dealing with thousands of dollars in damage after a man took a metal pole to his store windows. Security cameras were rolling when it happened Friday night near 27th and Nicollet. New at 10, the owner told our David Schumann his business is taking a big hit and he doesn't know where to turn for help. I don't care what anybody has to say, but I will never co-sign on a system that is unjust. I will never co-sign on the social and economic neglect that we face. I will never co-sign on the systematic disinvestment that our schools are faced with. I will never co-sign on funding a police department that continues to brutalize us. And I will never stop saying, not only do we need to disinvest for in police, but we need to completely dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. The scripture promises, I shall light a candle of understanding in thine heart, which shall not be put out. We start this half hour with new details about a robbery spree in Minneapolis. Police now say dozens were reported over the weekend and some appear to be very similar. It's really scary. Tonight investigators are trying to determine if these cases are connected. So today we are saying we don't want your damn reform. In far too many ways, American Negroes have been another nation. rotten to the root and so when we dismantle it we get rid of that cancer and we allow for something beautiful to rise you know groups of juveniles pointing guns at people to steal property that's an emergency that we need to stop everything and try and flush them out and end that from happening before something more serious happens the american negro acting with impressive restraint has peacefully protested and marched, entered the courtroom and the seats of government, demanding a justice that has long been denied. Can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? N not in okay. this context. So I'm you not a biologist. The meaning of the word woman is so unclear and controversial that you can't give me a definition. The voice of the Negro was the call to action. Senator, in my work as a judge, what I do is I address disputes. If there's a dispute about a definition, 
people make arguments and I look at the right. law and I decide. Well, so I'm not. The fact that you can't give me a straight answer about something as fundamental as what a woman is underscores the dangers of the kind of progressive education that we are hearing about. But it is a tribute to America that once aroused the courts and the Congress, the president and most of the people have been the allies of progress. It's part of a pattern. In most of these cases, the suspects used a stolen car. A group of anywhere from three to six of them would exit the car and target suspects who were walking. They took phones, wallets, and purses. And in some cases, they also stole the victim's car. And in most cases, they used a gun. These robberies that have been happening are absolutely outrageous. After we see that action, we have to be vigilant. Because one thing that you know about this country's history is that every single progress has been met with regression. Every single progress has been met with regression. Thus, we have seen the high court of the country declare that discrimination based on race was repugnant to the Constitution and therefore void. Police made three arrests this afternoon, but they say there are more suspects out there. They also say it's unclear if these robberies are connected, but it does look that way. The police chief also told us this afternoon that in all of these cases, the M.O. seems to be the same, and most of them involve juveniles with guns. They reach for the newest of weapons to realize the oldest of dreams. Chief O'Hara said that he's thankful that none of the six victims today were harmed physically and he believes that the new protocol did have the intended effect of ending the spree. This historic moment we find ourselves in will get us serious reforms that are impactful and meaningful. And that scares me. The police chief also told us there were 46 violent crimes committed in Minneapolis over the weekend. These armed robberies are included in that number. Men charged with hope contend with ancient ways in the pursuit of justice. He says some longtime businesses have even considered closing for good. So we do this work. We do this work for love of ourselves, of our community, of our country, of this democracy that is supposed to exist of justice that's not normal that is not normal daniel hernandez had six windows smashed at his colonial market grocery store in minneapolis friday night he says the man was a shoplifter who'd been kicked out 15 minutes earlier now after a three thousand dollar repair bill daniel feels out of options it's crazy it's out of control i don't know what to do i mean and and there is no real help it is truly a working example of democratic excellence. So I do know what it means to be black in America. And once lit, it will never again go out. But this is just some of the few people that have come and shoplift, have done damage. Colonial's cameras have caught other brazen crimes in the past year. Vote for President Johnson on November 3rd. The stakes are too high for you to stay home. Hey, look at that, Twin Cities. It's the IDS building, the big glass one. It's all a skyscraper in the Midwest after the uh, Sears and uh, Chicago or John Hancock building, whatever. You ever been to Minneapolis? Nope. Thanks a lot for searching that out. I appreciate that. Fisherman in the box. Fisherman in a box. There's always someone walking There's among us. There's always someone walking among us who has nefarious, nefarious objectives. 
objectives and will and use will some of our greatest technology some of our greatest technology for the unraveling, for the of, unraveling of civilization. That, is, that, that has is, always been the case. That's always been the case.